first breaker panel ever. This is going to be our main breaker right here. And this side is going to feed our power inverter from Shoreline Power. And this side is going to feed the uh, second circuit of the panel here. And I'll go into more detail as we're getting into this. So we'll put this like right here. I have to bust out a big one. So this has to come uh, inside, split off, go in here and here and here and to the ground to feed this whole thing. And that means I have to shave off some of this. So I'm going to need a razor and some of my other fancy tools for this. has this tool that I don't own. Unlikely. These are designed for this kind of work. All right, one in. And then this dude will go in there. Next, I think we have to put the inverter down there now. The problem is, is, how in God's name do you hold it up there to mount it to the wall? It's really heavy, right? Oh, it's like 80 pounds. It's really, really heavy. <clears throat> hey. <laughs> Move that wire out of the way. Son of a gun, huh? It is. This thing is only capable of passing 25 amps, which if you multiply it by 12 becomes 3,000 watts. That's all it can pass. And its bypass circuitry is only rated at 25 amps. So, one of our breakers here will be, it's 20, but it will be a 25 amp. I just can't find a 25 one yet. Um, so I'm only gonna pass 20 amps into this thing Therefore, if we ever try to draw more than that with this, then this will pop. These will also um, pop as well if we over. So it's redundant protection, protecting this from getting fried because this was like $800 or something ridiculous. I can't remember exactly. We'll put it in the description what we got and uh, it'll have the price on it. Okay, so. We need to pass one of the circuits from here to here, from here to here, using this wire. Okay, so that just sent one of our circuits through here, and we've got to bring it in here. This is the one of those clamp things oh. that goes here. I want to use it. All right, try again. Ugh. So I think I'm going to start on this side and work backwards. Normally this would be a gigantic wire coming in here. But not for us. Okay. This is so difficult. Because 
the wire is so hard to work with. Yeah. Very, very, very stiff wire. <clears throat> there. Like that. <clears throat> Semi-protected. Is there going to end up being more wires in there? Lots more wires in there. Okay, so we just brought power to that side. So let's bring wire power to the other side. That's a 30 amp one that will bring power. This is going to be our shoreline power coming in. And that will energize this side of the panel. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This one. <laughs> energize this side of the panel. And this one here will switch power to this side of the panel. And this is the one that gets the inner link. And as long as that inner link works properly, we'll never blow anything up. Fingers crossed. That's right. This is a very unorthodox thing I'm doing here. So it's not intuitive. I'm trying to, br I have to bring this circuit over to this side so that we can run our air conditioning and stuff. I gotta bring it from here to here. Uh -huh. And the way I'm doing that is with this right here attached to this circuit. When I switch this on, this gets energized, which is part of this circuit right here. So I'm just bringing the power onto this side. I see. And now, so it's like that. But when we're using the um, shoreline, then we don't want this side connected to this side. It needs to be separate, so I turn this one off. Gotcha. And then this one gets turned on in the process of turning this off because they're linked together. And this one gets energized through this from this right here. Our other circuit right here. Off the big line from the outside. And that is what's going on here. And it's unorthodox. It's not. Like they either got to be like this or like this, but never like that. <laughs> or. <laughs> so if we're ever shoreline like at an RV park. Or some in the unlikely event will be shoreline in an RV park that our air conditioning will be on the 30 amp side and getting plenty of juice all the time and then you can make toast with the air conditioning on. and the air conditioning can still be on there okay and then we still have all these grounds to contend with but that's all right because this box is almost finished. These are our shoreline mains right here. We're shorelined. If this is on, then we get shoreline power. With these off, which we'll leave off for now, they will be... Uh, there's no chance of getting zapped. Meanwhile, back at this panel, <laughs> this is where we start bringing in all of this stuff. Notice how much easier this is to work with. Oh, yay! <laughs> so much It's like easier. the dessert of electrical wiring. It is. I like how the orange wires look like a pretzel. These are double 15s and this is going to be... Washer dryer. There. Okay. This is the important one. This is going to be the air conditioner and the washing machine. And 
All right, now we gotta hammer all those in place with one million nails. cannot be on in the presence of the other one. It's a fail safe. Exactly. Oh, cold. Really? Yeah, like that was like surprisingly cold actually. Cool. Okay. Where'd my little thing go? Your magic wand? Yeah. Oh no, where'd you put it? We use our fancy little thing here. Stick it in here. Still a little bit of power there. This is on that side. These just need to be switched. Now the refrigerator is on the 30 amp side. Now, we gotta hook the interlock back up again. All right. Okay. Seems little, like it'll do the job. Our little interlink is totally working. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, let me go see what it looks like from in here. Okay. You got it. You're all the way through. Well, that's perfect. You kind of have to make it go all at the same time. I can see that. Because it's so stiff. Because they're uncooperative little boogers, aren't they? Yeah, super stiff to work with. Shoreline, done. 50 amp shoreline, done. There we go. In anticipation of the 10 million questions that are gonna show up in the comments if I don't do this, we're gonna go over what we did back here. The stuff I did is unorthodox. I don't suggest that you guys do this and uh, because it's, it is quite unorthodox, but it solved the problem of how we wanted to route our power from shoreline. Okay, so starting over here at the shoreline power, this is where you plug in to some shore power stand at an RV park, and it's gonna come in. This is our main breaker right here. And our main breaker consists of two, uh, two breakers. One's a 30 amp and one's a 25 amp. I'm using a 30 amp because I don't have 50 amp wire and I'll never need 50 amps in this bus, I doubt. Uh, the 25 amp is specifically because our inverter has a built-in transfer switch and that transfer switch can only handle a total of 25 amps. So we're protecting it with a 25 amp breaker over here. It also has its built-in breakers. So coming out of the 25 amp breaker, it goes through the inverter. When it senses the power, it automatically switches to shore power coming out this side. Now, the breaker panel we got isn't exactly like what I have here, but for simplicity, 
I'm doing it. I'm, I'm showing you it like this, okay? So it comes in and it comes in on one side of the breaker panel. It's broken down. The breaker panel could ha handle uh, 220 volts or two 110 volt 50 amp lines coming in. So it comes in and charges up one side uh, from the inverter. Now when we're on internal power, I want to be able to run the stuff on this side such as an air conditioning and the refrigerator on shore power if we needed to. So uh, I need this size to be energized with the stuff on the power that's on this side. And the way I did that is I put a 20 amp breaker over here and I can flick that breaker on and it ties these two sides together. This is the unorth or unorthodox nature of this. Okay? But when I'm on shore power, that needs to be turned off so these are not tied together and this one switched on which ties in the uh, 30 amp breaker over here to this side. These two can never be on at the same time. So I built an interlinking switch that when I switch, when this one switches off, this one switches on and vice versa. It's a mechanical linkage between the two and Let's go over and show you that right now. I know this is a little bit different than the drawing because the way these things work, they go like this. So it's just, just trust me. These two are on the same circuit right here. So if I throw this one, it shuts off the, the breaker that ties the two sides together and switches on our external power breaker which then 30 amps is coming into this one and it's energizing this entire side of the panel or when we're on internal power I switch it that way it shuts off the shoreline and turns on the internal power tying these two together and energizing both of them from the same uh, from our inverter right here so today we are mounting the 12 volt this little dude right here on this wall over here. And we're just going to put it over there and keep 12 volt on this side and 120 oh, volt okay. on this side here. Oh, that's cool. That way we don't have any confusion as to what goes where. We use this and our little stripper doodles. Woo, we're getting a stripper? <laughs> it's not the best looking stripper, but the hardest working stripper. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be throwing dollars. <laughs> so my recommendation if you're doing electrical stuff is you can get the cheap crimpers and they'll work. But when you're doing it on this scale, go get a good pair of heavy duty crimpers that will do the job for you because it'll just make you happier. Using cheap crimpers made him pull all his hair out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clearly. But I'm putting a blade type like this on it so that you can just slide them into these in here and, and lock them instead of having to take the screws out and risking losing them. As we've already been through this morning. Yeah. See how easy that is? Super nice. So now, Let's make it look better. I wish there was some trick I could tell you all about. <laughs> like, you just have to... Have patience. Do it. That made a big difference. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. There we go. Very nice. This really came together well. Brown Santa was here! You wanna see? Let's open it. Oh, it's so magical. 
and bang. Let's go hook it up. First thing is we gotta make sure this is off. Off. We gotta make sure this is on shore. <laughs> There's no buzzing. All right, so technically we're plugged in right now. Let's go inside, switch on the mains, and pray for no sparks. Mains on, and there was no fire. There it is. AC mode's on. So, if I turn this off, it was bringing power in. So that's the mains come in. And it's charging this thing right here. The battery right there. So, it means it works. The whole thing works.